they really don't wait a second not even one day and it's on to the next big event you know these politicians world leaders clowns on tv would be nothing without the millions of cronies fulfilling their wishes never let a good crisis go to waste winston churchill you know it's funny how all of these countries work together including russia and ukraine to shut down the entire world because of you know what <coughs> and now wait hold on they're at war with each other wonder what they were talking about at the g20 summit it's almost like they're planning events to manipulate the masses into doing certain things i wonder which politicians cashed out of the stock market last week or bought shares in certain energy companies guys it's called the new world order not the new russian order not the new united states order not the new china order whatever reason these leaders are creating a war it will become very clear in the next few weeks the bankers will ensure we stay in debt the pharmaceutical companies will ensure we stay sick the weapons manufacturers will ensure we keep going to war the media will ensure we are prevented from knowing the truth the government will ensure all of this is done legally whether this is all real or fake doesn't matter once you understand that these world leaders are just a bunch of puppets doing what they're told working together you should disregard what they're saying and figure out what their next step is what's the goal the media around the situation is incredibly controlled it's always been controlled all of the blue check marks on twitter spewing the same garbage makes me want to vomit you ever notice how the media and the world leaders are never encouraging you they're never being positive they're always trying to scare you keep you in fear put you down whatever videos you see whether it's troops moving or military attacks they want you to see them they want you to believe their agenda and their videos regardless of what the video is i don't know if it's staged real used in a misleading application back at the peak of you know what <coughs> when hospitals were allegedly overwhelmed i visited them in new york city they were completely empty and the video of me doing that was wiped off of youtube for showing the truth out of the millions of people sitting in their homes scared watching tv i was one of the only people who went outside to see what was going on and all those people are just believing and doing what they're told on the tv on social media if you understand natural law you will know that it is not possible one cannot lose their life in war unless they are willing to do so that's why the elite sociopaths in charge are plastering the media as opposed to actually just doing what they want you have to submit you have to allow their new world order to happen they can't just do it that's why we have this whole charade that's been going on for years and years and years we know these psychopaths are willing to go as far as it takes to convince people of what their truth is whether the debts are real or fake it does not matter the majority of the public will be convinced of this and then whatever actions follow will line up with their end goal i've said it before but the most important thing above everything else is that you need to understand people can lie to you the stuff coming out of their mouth it's not necessarily the truth they have lied to you about almost everything in the past and they will continue to lie i mean my personal experience in the carnivore diet community with being plagiarized and then a whole group of people gaslighting me saying i wasn't being plagiarized you know woke me up to how evil these scumbags are in how they work together and i mean it goes above and beyond that you know the standard american diet vegetable seed oils diabetes pharmaceutical every single thing the american public has been told and poisoned in the food and water like you're trusting the same people with the media one of my lovely female viewers 
informed me about the Chevron gas deal, which was supposed to allow Ukraine to become independent on energy from Russia. And she also said that Ukraine produces a lot of wheat grain food. So by Russia invading the Ukraine, then the NWO globalist lunatics can have their supply chain crisis they want. Destroy the energy, destroy the food. They're slowly increasing prices on both of those, squeezing more and more money out of the masses. As they continue to have these events, plaster them in the media over the next few years, the grip is getting tighter and tighter. The masses continue to believe the media while their plan unfolds right in front of their eyes. And you can't forget about the cyber attacks. Is Con Ed gonna turn off your power because of some big bad guy in Russia clicking a button on a computer after charging you double last month? Are meat plants going to send workers home? That's what happened with the JBS a few months ago. All of these big corporations take orders from the 1% in charge and it's simply to gain more power and more control over the masses. Keep people in fear, manipulate the resources in their favor, move closer and closer to their new world order globalist BS. And you'll see in the comments, oh, uh, my third cousin's friend is in the Ukraine and he killed me, it's bad. Like, yeah, no shit. Like, please, that, that is completely, that's not the point of this video. The point is, really just stop watching the news and, and try to enjoy your life and be happy because if no one listened to these fuckheads, nothing bad would happen. So thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you guys can go to frank to support me through all of my businesses. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.